Hey guys, how's it going? Armour Works here, and today we're bringing you something very special. If you've ever watched an action movie, or played a first person shooter, or are just a fan of firearms in general, there's a good chance you've heard of an FN Herstal. They make some of the most iconic firearms today. For example, the P90, SCAR, M240, the FN FAL, and most recently, they are the current suppliers of the US military's M4A1s. So it's to be expected that an airsoft copy or replica would come into the market. And now we have just that, a fully licensed blowback replica by FN. So let's take a look at what we get in the box. So when you open the box inside, you will see the M4A1 itself, the user manual with the FN logo on the front, one standard 30 round magazine with the red AW gas port, an Allen key for the hop up, a BB speed loader, the licensing sticker, and a tool for tightening. So, let's talk about the looks. First thing I have to say is how much I love the look of this rifle. I'm a huge fan of mil-spec rifles and that is exactly what you get here. Full mil-spec is great. It has the full FN markings on the side, exactly the same as its real steel counterpart. It also has a telescopic stock. Moving on to the rail, it has a quad rail system so you can mount all your accessories like foregrips, flashlights, peck boxes, etc. on it. The iron sights are based off the real steel ones. The rear iron sight is flip up and the front sight is a standard M4 front sight. It also has two sling points at the front and the back of the rifle. The outer barrel can be removed if you want to shorten it down. There is a lot of room for upgrades or alternative furniture to choose from on the market if there's anything you want to change on the rifle. Okay, so let's take it down and see what we've got inside. So, inside here is our trigger system. Here you can see the trigger box as well as the hammer. The hammer has a roller on it to help it reset just a little bit better. Just listen to how snappy this hammer is. Very, very snappy. This trigger mechanism is a tried and true system. Here we have our bolt in here. Let's take it out and let's have a look. So here we have our bolt here. It has a roller on the top to help it travel just a little bit better as well. And also our nozzle in here as well. On this upper, it has a 14 inch inner barrel inside it, which you can screw off the front here and change it into a 10 inch, like we were demonstrating before. Now the hop up is located at the start of the barrel here. To adjust the hop up, you will need to use the Allen key that comes in the box or one of your own. Make sure it is the right size as you don't want to mess up the threading. To fill the mag, it's pretty simple. Just like most GBB magazines, we rotate it so it's upside down and fill up the gas. It's recommended that you fill it up for 10 seconds, and I would say that 10 seconds is more than enough. You can get about two mags off one charge. Also, a nice feature this mag has is this little slide here. What this does is disable the catch on the mag, so you're able to dry fire without holding onto the bolt release, which is a great option to have, whether you're dry firing at home or at the range, just a great option. Let's shoot this thing. The recoil is excellent on this replica. It kicks very hard and it feels great. On full auto it's even better. I feel like it's got a good kick but not hard enough to throw my aim off. The trigger does feel a little firm, but I feel that just adds to the realism with the recoil, like I'm really packing a punch with every shot. Also, the bolt does feel a little bit heavy to rack back the first few times, but then again I feel like that adds to the whole experience of shooting this. 
Okay, so now let's do a quick chrono test. We're using 0.2 gram BBs and 12 kg green gas. Let's see. So, we are getting around 0.75 to 0.85 joules and about 250 to 280 FPS. That's pretty good, that means it's under the limit for most countries' laws. So, overall, this is a fantastic replica of the AW. It's got something for everyone. Whether you're looking to complete that USMC loader, US Army loader, contractor loader, or even just an avid GBB user, it's got you covered. I would suggest for someone who's just getting into Airsoft, or maybe an intermediate player, to pick up one of these. I think it'll be absolutely fantastic for you. Maybe if you want a red dot, maybe a PQ and a flashlight, and you're ready to play big fields, or even CQB. Anyway guys, that's all for today. Thanks for checking out this video. Please check out our Facebook, our Instagram, and our YouTube. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. But wait, there's more. So, now you've all been waiting very patiently, and it's time to tell you that yes, the AW drum mag is compatible with the FN. Let's lay down some hate.